Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. No matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. Before we get into some games for Major League Baseball for May 30th, I invite you to join so you, you will have access to the VIP Club section right here with all the tools you need to make your picks. So we're heading into the end of the second month of the Major League season and there are some great games in store for you for the weekend, so we'll take a look at a few of them right here. Colorado and Pittsburgh, Milwaukee and Washington, we're not looking at that one. Here, Miami and Boston. Here's the first game we want to look at. Miami enters play second in the National League East, and the Red Sox are second in the American League East. Boston has an edge here on the power ranking indicator, if you take a look here, at plus 11 to plus 8. Both teams on the downward trend at the moment. You see that the, Miami's burning hot. They have won their last game against uh, Philadelphia, and they have won four out of their last six. The Red Sox are averaged down at the moment. They have won four out of their last six, and they're coming off a win, and they hadn't lost the previous two before that to Philadelphia and to Atlanta. If you, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you see that the two teams have not yet met this season. This is the first of the season for them, this weekend series. Sandy Alcantara is scheduled to pitch for the Marlins, he is 2-4 with a 3.46 ERA. And for Boston, it is Eduardo Rodriguez. You can see he is 5-3 with a 5.06 ERA. If you're considering the over and under in this game, you can see that Miami has been trending in games under the line for quite some time here. If you look at Boston, they are trending in games over the line. Generally, in that case, it's better to avoid the over and under. If you want to look at the scores predictor, you can see here that the score prediction is Miami by an 8-5 to five score, but you can see that the confidence in the prediction is only 39%, so take that with a grain of salt. You want to take a look back as it gets closer to the game, and also the odds are not currently available, and you will see um, them probably in another day or two as far as the odds for this game. So what I'm thinking, though, is here that I believe that Miami will have a good chance to win on the road. They're playing well. Alcantara has been having a better season than Rodriguez. Go with Miami to win the game. The Yankees and the Tigers. Philadelphia and Tampa Bay. Toronto and Cleveland. You see a lot of games. We're going to take a look at five of them. The second one we want to look at is Kansas City and Minnesota. This is an American League Central battle with the third place Royals facing the fourth place Twins. You see the Royals are burning hot at the moment, even though they've lost their last game by a 2-1 score, they have won 4 out of their last 6. The Twins are average at the moment, even though they've won their last 4 and 5 out of their last 6. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see both teams on an upward trend, plus 28 for Kansas City, plus 21 for Minnesota. The pitching matchups have not yet been determined for this game, so you can take a look back later for that. If you're considering the over and under in this matchup, you can see that Kansas City is playing in games trending under the line, while Minnesota is playing in games trending way over the line. So generally, I would say to avoid, <coughs> excuse me, avoid the over and under, but maybe you want to bet the over. Let's see what the scores predictor has to say. Yeah, this is probably going to be an over. The line's probably not going to be at 11. It's not set yet, but you see here the score prediction is 7 to 4 in favor of Kansas City, with a pretty nice confidence in, in prediction of six, nearly 65%. So I believe that the Twins will have the advantage at home. I am actually going to go against what the scores predictor says. I'm going to go with the Twins to take care of business at home. But I do believe it's going to be a higher scoring game. So I would bet the over with the Twins to come out on top. The San Diego Padres and the Houston Astros. The Padres sit on top of the American League, or excuse me, the National League West. The Astros are the American League team and they are second in the American League West. You see, both teams are average status at the moment, and the Padres have won their last two, and five out of their last six. The Astros are coming off of a four-game losing streak with a win against the Dodgers by a 5-2 to two score. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams, they have not yet met for this season. The power ranking indicator shows Houston on a tailspin. They were at plus 26, now they're at plus 4. And San Diego is up 
over the last couple of days from plus 17 to plus 24. If you're considering the over and under for this game, San Diego's been playing in games trending over the line. And Houston, again, over the line, way over the line. It looks like a good indication to bet the over. But let's see what the scores predictor shows. The scores predictor shows something similar. You can see the total run scored for the prediction is going to be 12, with Houston winning by an 8-4 score, and the confidence in the prediction is 64%. The pitching matchups have not yet been determined, so you want to take a look back later on when they are posted. But right now, I am thinking this is going to be a high-scoring game. Bet the over with Houston taking care of business at home and winning the game outright. The Reds and the Cubs. Angels and the Athletics. Here's another good game. This is a battle in the American League West. The A's are on top in the division, and the Angels are fourth. Despite being ice cold down, Compared to burning hot down for the A's, if you look at the power ranking indicator, you see something interesting that the Angels are the ones that jumped from plus 1 all the way up to plus 25 over the last few days. And it's the A's that have dropped from plus 24 down to plus 1. Well, let's see if we can figure out why. If you look at, the, uh, if you look at this, you can see that the Angels have won their last three. That's why. They have won their last three games after a three-game losing streak. And the A's, after losing their last three, are back on the winning track. But their, their three-game losing streak is what put them down. And now they're back on the winning track after a 6-3 win over Seattle. If you're considering the over and under, you see the Angels are playing in games trending way over the line here. And the A's also way over the line. This is probably a good indication to bet the over. But let's see what the scores predictor shows us. The scores predictor is showing a 7-2 margin of victory for the A's, but the confidence in the prediction is only 44%, so it's a less chance than the flip of a coin. I will not take too much stock into this as of now. Maybe another day or two when it gets closer to the game, check back and see if that prediction has changed. But as of now, as of the time here making this video, I would bet the over on this game and for the A's to come out on top. Giants and the Dodgers, Cardinals and the Diamondbacks, Rangers, Mariners. You see a lot of games here. It's a full slate of games. And now the game, the last game we want to look at is an, a National League East battle between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. In this tight division, the first place Mets take on the third place Braves. You can see that the Braves are average up at the moment. Charlie Morton is scheduled to pitch for the Braves. He is 3-2 and two with a 3.98 ERA. The Mets are average at the moment, and Jacob deGrom is scheduled to pitch for the Mets. He is 3-2 with a 0.80 ERA. You can see that the Braves have won four out of their last six, even though they're coming off a loss to Boston. And the Mets are only 2-4 and four over their last six, and they have won their last game, coming off a win over Colorado. If you look at the head-to-head -head matches between these two teams this year, you can see that the Mets have won two out of the three games in Atlanta. Just uh, less than two weeks ago. And let's take a look at the total predictor. If you're considering the over and under, you can see Atlanta playing in games trending slightly under the line, as is New York. Let's take a look at the scores predictor to see how we want to go with this. A little bit surprising, a score prediction for Atlanta to be an 8-1 to one victor with a 64% probability or confidence. Not so much that Atlanta is picked to win, but by such a large margin considering how good DeGrom has been this season. But if you take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that neither pitcher has actually been a good bet at all. So, you know, here's minus $101 for Morton, and even worse, way worse, minus $965 for DeGrom. The Mets just simply don't play very well when he's on the mound. And I actually kind of think that trend will continue. I expect a lower scoring game than what the scores predictor is showing, but I will pick the Braves to win the game. So there you have it. Those are the picks for this week for May 30th for Major League Baseball. Enjoy the games. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.